Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some of my favorite Amazon items. So before we get started, I'm sure that you've noticed that I have a new recording space, which is really nice, courtesy of my mom. Thank you, mom. <laughs> and all of the studio stuff that I'm using right now, I actually did purchase on Amazon as well. So I will put that in the description below. So let's get on to the video. My first item is this blender bottle. It did come with a little, um, what do you call those things? Mixy ball thing for like protein shakes. So when I go to the gym, I use this, like, you know, just put protein powder and the little ball and you just shake it. So yeah, this came in a package of two with pink and um, orange and it also has like measurements on the side. Now you can't really see that because of the glare, but so if you wanted to measure your water or whatever you're putting in here, you could do that too. Next are these erase your face towels. So they are reusable makeup removing cloth for sensitive skin. So I have sensitive skin. It comes in a package of four. The one that's missing is the black one. So basically it's just a super soft um, face towel. And if you just put water on it and then you just wipe your face with it, all of your makeup comes off. And then it's rewashable and you don't have to use makeup wipes, you can literally just use this. And it's really great because as I said, they're reusable. Saving the planet a one face towel at a time. So yeah, to wash them, you literally just stick them in the washing machine, you put it with your clothes. I mean, you could hand wash them too, but why? <laughs> it makes your life so much easier if you just stuck it in the washer. So. Erase your face, face towels for makeup. And speaking of makeup, we have these eyeshadow shields, which I found that these are super helpful, especially because I'm sure as most of you know now, I do gymnastics, team gymnastics, and when I have to do everyone's makeup, especially because the makeup colors that we use are so pigmented, these eye shields actually just catch the makeup from falling and like sticking to your face. So it comes, I believe this is a pack of 100. And they come in like these individual, and I can't really see, but individual sealed packages. Yeah, you really can't see. Oh, there we go. So there's a bunch of those. Let me see if I have an open one. Yeah. So yeah, that's what it looks like. You basically just peel off those um, a perforated, per perforated edge. You can just peel this back and then you place this little part right under your eye and it'll just catch all the makeup that falls. It's also good for MUAs as well. And continuing on with the theme of beauty, these are Acne Pimple Master Patches by Cosserx. I literally cannot pronounce the name, but that's what the package looks like. So basically, when you open it up, so I've used these obviously, but it comes with, let me see how many, 24 patches, so all different sizes for how big your pimple is, and then you basically just peel it off, stick it on the pimple, and you can leave it until the patch turns white or you can replace them daily, up to you. So the description is a hydro, hydrocolide, colid patch, I can't even pronounce, hydrocolloid patch that absorbs oil and extracts impurities while creating a barrier that protects against outside irritants. So yeah, these are really good. I've been using them for a little bit and they do work. So, and they're actually not that expensive too. I think I got a pack of three of these for like $12. So, not that expensive. So next is this Jade Face Roller. I literally swear by this. So, I use this uh, morning and night, basically. I also sometimes I stick it in the freezer or the fridge because when it's cold, it just, I don't even know what, it, I forget what the benefits are when it's cold, but it just, it just helps circulate all that stuff 
in your face and it drains your lymph nodes. <laughs> so yeah, I would invest in one of these. So next, I have this little scalp massager. So I use this in the shower. It's like a shampoo brush, basically. So you literally just hold it in between your hand like that. And after you lather your shampoo on, you can just like brush your hair so that it like really gets into your roots and stuff to remove all the dirt. And it also feels really nice. So this hair scalp shampoo brush is worth your money. <laughs> especially if you have dandruff. So next I have this hair straightening brush. So it heats up to 500 degrees, I think, but obviously I wouldn't cook my hair like that. But yeah, so you basically plug it into the wall. You have three different buttons. There's the on button the to make the heat higher and lower as well. And basically it just, it's like a hair straightening brush. Like sometimes I use it when I get out of the shower after washing my hair and it's like damp just to dry it a little quicker, which you probably shouldn't do because that literally cooks your hair. But I only do it sometimes. Otherwise, if I, I don't usually straighten my hair, but sometimes if I sleep with it in a bun and my hair gets these weird little indents from the hair ties, then I'll just like hair straighten and brush that out. <laughs> but yeah, these ones are really good. You can also get the brush that goes like 360 all the way around and you can like twist it so that one's good too <laughs> but yeah i would invest in one of these if you want straight hair with less hassle next i have this leather journal with a lock on it so basically you can just put any password you want you can or sorry you can set any password that you want so that if you have siblings or whatever or you have roommates and you don't want people going through your stuff you can literally set a password and then write about all your thoughts or you know keep a diary or a journal or anything like that so next I have this Fujifilm printer and I would open it up but the issue with that is that there's still film inside and then if I were to close it then one would automatically come out and that's because if any of you have like a Fujifilm camera, you know that when you replace the film, there's that first plastic layer that comes out automatically because it just like protects the film from light and stuff like that. But anyways, you would open, you would open it right here. The whole thing pops open. You stick your film inside and then here I can turn it on though. So you hold the button on the side and then that shows the battery and the two glowing dots, that means that I have two, um, two little squares of film left and I think they come in packages of 10. So uh, you connect this to an app on your phone and basically you can edit it, you can print them through the app or you can like put filters, you can add cool designs, like literally anything. But I just find this really cute to have a physical copy of your memories, kind of like the old days, I guess. Because I have a wall that I put all my pictures on. And I think I started this in like 20... 2017 or maybe 2018. But anyways, yeah, I have a whole wall that I like to print all my stuff out. And so instead of bringing the camera with me and putting it on a setting, taking the photo, and then getting upset that maybe it was over or underexposed. I can literally take the picture on my phone, connect it to this printer, and it will print a photo for me. So next I have this 10 inch ring light, kind of more of a desk one rather than a standing one. The one I'm using right now here is a 18 inch standing one. This is by Ubi, Ubi Size, I think that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, so, this is the ring light that I started out with. I still use this one in my room for makeup and stuff like that. But I mean, like what girl doesn't want a ring light, right? You can take cute selfies with it. It just, it's self-explanatory. It's just good lighting. Like you need, girls need, want good lighting, right? So this thing is also flexible too. So you can move it like up and down, portrait, landscape mode. And it also has, different settings let me see if i can plug it in i cannot plug it in right now because i left the um this one is a usb port i left the adapter upstairs so anyways it has this little switch it has 
three different light settings. It's white, blue, and yellow, I believe, are the three different light settings. And they also, you can adjust them, like if they're dimmable lights as well. So for a starter one, especially if it's not, you don't want a standing one, something small for your desk, this would be a good one. I think it was like $30, but I don't really remember. I will put that below as well. All of the stuff that I'm listing right now, obviously, is gonna be in the description below. So next is a tripod. So it came in this cute little bag. It gets pretty small. Like this is the travel bag. It's got a few different um, adjusting heads. So right now it's extended open all the way, but all the legs are adjustable. actually even smaller than that there. so this is about how small this thing came so as you can see it could fit in that bag pretty easily it's got this little handle so that when your phone is placed inside you can actually adjust it this way and this thing pops this way as well so there's literally so many different options that you can use with this and it's also got a leveler to see if you're phone is sitting straight on it or not. So this, for me, was a really good investment because I always needed a tripod that was collapsible just to bring places with me because I have to film training videos and like all different sorts of stuff. So it also came with um, one of these, which is like a Bluetooth clicker so you connect it to your phone. And then you can take pictures from like long distances, videos, any of that stuff. And it's pretty affordable too. So we're kind of reaching the end here. This has been one of my best investments, I think. So basically what this is, is it's a bed desk. The bottom pieces open up. Flip it over. Obviously I'm not on a bed right now, so I'm just gonna hold it. This piece actually can stand up on its own if you wanted to draw or if you wanted to put your laptop there or something like that. And it's also got a flat desk writing space, place where you can put your snacks, all that stuff. This is a little bit difficult, but yeah. So I love how this piece just comes up and down because if I'm lying on my back, then my work won't be flat in front of me. I can prop it up so that it's like right in front of my face. I mean, though it's not that light, it's definitely efficient because it won't move around when it's on your bed. Next will be my whole studio set. So I have a bunch of different lights that I was testing with before I decided that I was gonna end up sticking with my ring light. So I have a few different lighting options here as well, like both from up here, I have umbrella lighting as well. And I have this backdrop that I got from Amazon as well as the stand that it's on. And I will put a video of that right here. So these are the lights that I was talking about or one of them. So but it gets really, really bright as you can see. And I have two of them. So one on each side, it's really, really bright light. You can also adjust it using this dial make it as low or as bright as you want. And then over here, this is my 18 inch ring light that I was talking about. This is the ring light. And then yeah, as I was saying, my other light. So yeah, this is my background with the stand. All the stuff I got from Amazon there's actually a white layer under it. This white layer came with it. And I bought this blue one still on top that came with the clips and everything. Also, I got this from Amazon. It's so small, but I have a MacBook and the newest MacBooks don't have USB ports. So that's always been kind of difficult for me if I wanted to plug in a USB or literally connect it to anything else. I didn't have the right port for it. So basically this is just an adapter. I came with like two or three of them in a package and you just plug it into, I don't know what port it is. I think it's like lightning C or something like that. You plug it into the side of your MacBook and you can just plug in any kind of USB 
in, so I think that that's really cool. And the last item on my list is my LED lights that are in my room. So I'm gonna have to go upstairs to take a video to show you guys, but I will also put that video right here. And so these are my LED lights. They go all the way around my bed. It came with this remote. So let's turn it on. Comes with, but you can basically change it to any color that you want. Or they have flash mode. You can go really fast. Slow. And I got different fades. Very versatile. So that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed me sharing my Amazon favorites. All of the products that I have shown will be linked in the description below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe down below. I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. I'll see you guys in the next one.